type of ideological thing. About, I never really talk about left but or right. Anyways, a lot I don't of people really believe in that. Okay, a lot of people would would say that you're simply taking a page out of the Donald Trump uh, well, book. Like which people would say that? Well, I'm sure a great many Canadians, but like who? <laughs> I don't know who, but well, you're um, the one who asked the question, so yeah, you must know somebody. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sure there's some out there, but anyways, the, the point say. of this the point of this question is. Pierre Polyev gives an absolute masterclass on how to easily expose the lies of the corrupt mainstream media. On the on the topic, I mean, in terms of your sort of strategy currently, you're obviously taking the populist uh, pathway. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> well, ap appealing appealing to people's uh, more emotional levels, I would guess. Um, I mean, what certainly you mean certainly that? you Give certainly you tap certainly you tap uh, very strong ideological language quite frequently. Like what? Uh, left wing, you know this and that. Right wing, you know. I mean, it's that that type I of ideological thing. About, I never really talk about left but or right. Anyways, a lot I don't of people really believe in that. Okay. And this isn't the first time that Pierre Polyev has utilized this strategy. In fact, just recently, a CBC reporter was caught in a lie when she told Pierre Polyev that a number of people had accused him of dog whistling. Hello, Mr. Polyev. Um, a number of your own comments and actions have been um, characterized as dog whistling to By the who? far right. By who? by a number of by different who? but i think it's been by characterized who? by that way but by are who? you trying to sorry, court, are, I, I are you trying to, to, court to clarify this sorry i just need to clarify by who by a number by of who? different experts and a number of different people who, who work who, who, who are the work experts? in this okay well i think right. it's been established that right. this is this is yeah, a concern I, I, are not, you trying to court the far right vote i sorry I, who are these experts you say that there are experts who are saying this where are they my question is, are you trying to court the sorry, far right I, vote? I, sorry, the, your question uh, seems to be based on a false premise. You can't even uh, tell me who these experts are. It sounds like it's just a CBC smear job. Thank you. But, Next it, question. but what about the question? And this exact strategy was used by none other than Elon Musk when he was accused by the BBC of creating a platform of hate speech on the new X, formerly Twitter platform. Hang on a second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example, not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. And I, well, I, then I how did you see the hateful content? content? Because I've been, I've been using, I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen that you for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right. And and I, you can't I, give a single I, one. And, and, and I'm saying, I, I, then I, I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single example of hateful con content, not even one tweet. And yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What, no, no, what I claim was uh, there are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether, whether it has on Give my feed or not, and they just say they just, there's not enough people to police this stuff, particularly around, um, particularly around hate speech um, in the company. Do, is that well, what hate speech you are you address? talking about? I mean, you use Twitter. Right. Do you see a rise in hate speech? I mean, I, I, just a personal anecdote. Like, what do you do? I don't. P personally, my uh, for you, I would see I get I get more of that kind of content. Yeah, personally. But I, I'm not going to talk talk to the rest of for, for the rest of Twitter. So you see personally. more hate speech personally. I would say I would see more hateful content in that in that content right. you don't like or or hateful. What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, just content that will solicit a, a reaction, something that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist, those kinds of those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I, no, is I'm, that not, what you're saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm, saying, well, I'm just curious. What you, I'm, I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con content. And I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and if and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? Well, you've asked me. You've asked me whether my feed, whether it's got less or more. It, I'd say it's got slightly more. That's why I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't. Use, I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why. Because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore. Because I, I just don't particularly like it. But you said actually, a lot of people. A lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only. Well, well, I only well, look well, at hang my, on a second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example. Not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last. Three or four weeks, and I. Well, then, how did you see the hateful content? Content? Because I've been, I've been using, I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen that you for you hateful content. I'm asking for one example. Right. And you I, can't I, give a single and, one. And, and, and I'm saying, I, I, then I, I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give me a single example of hateful con content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What? No, no. What I claim was. 
there are many uh, organizations that say that that kind of information is on the rise. Now, whether, whether it has on Give my feed or example. not. I mean, I, right, and Literally if you look at something one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, U in the UK, they will say that. So you, they, Look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right, and as, as I already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? No, that I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content and then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I that's absurd. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then how would you know this hateful content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We have, we only have a certain amount of time. Um, wow, 